What's up, Dave? Hey, Dave. It's you doing, uh, man? I'm very. All right, now it I'm seems we well, have. Thank sorry you. to interrupt, guys. It seems we have two audio devices going. So, yeah. Oh, which one are you going to be using? How's that? No. Sorry. I'm good. I'm like you, dude. I I don't know how to use this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Is that working now or not? That sounds great. Dave, Dave, Dave. <laughs> Foo Fighters, you gotta get me a record. It's our 10th album. We gotta break the mold on this one. Let's Dave, I watched the movie last night, Studio 666, and it absolutely blew my mind. How much fun was it to make? Dave, Dave, Dave. <laughs> it was amazing. I mean, you know, we, we first of all, this is something we never aspired to do. This is not something that's been in the works for the last 26 years. It just kind of fell in our laps. And we were like, why not? I mean, we've spent the last 26 years making ridiculous videos and we've done all of these documentaries and done a lot of stuff outside of the band. So we thought, you know, it would just be something fun to do. And at first we imagined that it would be this real low budget kind of slasher gore horror film that we would make really quickly. Came up with the idea, band moves in a haunted house. I become possessed, I kill the whole band, I go solo. That was the basic idea, the, the original premise of the thing. Because we were in that house in the movie, that's where we recorded our album Medicine at Midnight. So I thought, well, let's just do it while we're here. Like, we'll finish the record, then we'll make this quick little movie. And then it just snowballed into a massive full-length feature film. Yeah. And we, like, it really just, it just grew into this thing that we never imagined possible. And it was a blast to make. People think I look a lot like Willie Nelson. <laughs> oh, you know what, you guys? I forgot to tell you. Earlier today, before a crew got zapped, there's this weird dude in the yard creeping around. What kind of dude? Some weird guy. He's like trimming the hedges and stuff. The killer gardener of Encino. Wouldn't be surprised in this house. <laughs> oh, yeah! What the shit? You're going to To me. Now, somewhat like Robert Johnson, you seem to be particularly susceptible to demonic possession. Is that a help or a hindrance? <laughs> well, in real life, you know, I've always loved that that uh, combination of rock and roll and horror. You know, when I was a kid, I loved Alice Cooper. I loved Kiss. I loved death metal like Slayer and Venom and things like that. You know, that's never been incorporated into anything that the Foo Fighters do. But there is sort of that fun, sort of entertaining kitsch element of like the devil and rock and roll. Like I always thought like, it's just kind of funny in a way, you know? So to be able to play it out on screen, like dude, when you put on the contacts and the prosthetics and then like the teeth, it's kind of easy <laughs> for that to come out. It was like Halloween, except Halloween was six weeks long. It was pretty great. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, so many touch points. John Carpenter being involved, that must have been such a huge get. Well, that, I mean, I got to be honest, that was total coincidence. Our lighting designer who comes on tour with us, Dan, when I told him we were making a horror film, Dan said, oh my God, uh, I know John Carpenter. I was like, what? Dan went out on the road with John Carpenter when John Carpenter was performing his music in front of live audiences. Dan did his lights. So Dan said, you should just email him, see if he'll make a cameo. And I'm like, there's no way. He'll, he will never do something as silly as our movie. And so I emailed him, and I guess we took his son's band on the road like 15 years ago. So when he emailed back, he said, you know what? You took care of my kid 15 years ago, so to return the favor, not only will I be in your movie, but I'll also write the theme song. And it was like, <laughs> it was like winning the lottery. It's a horror jackpot. You're just like, oh my God. So we're, it, we're so blessed that that actually happened. 13 year old son and a 17 year old daughter. We watched it. And the first thing they went nuts about was General Ortega being in it. And um, you know, that, that young kind of touch point. Uh, and <laughs> fiercely, my wife lasted 45 seconds uh, watching the movie and then she couldn't watch it anymore. But um, I think the great part about it is that it's going to not just attract Fooey's fans, who I know are going to love it, but it's going to attract horror fans as well, because let's face it, there's, there needs to be schlock, there needs to be blood and guts, and I think this movie has it in bucketfuls. Yeah, oh, well, I mean, if you would have seen the director 
screaming during some of those takes, more blood, more blood. <laughs> and, the, the, and the guy pumping the blood at the back of the house was like watching it to spray all over the place. Like I, that was the thing is that, you know, some of our favorite horror films, um, you know, there is sort of like this kitsch or comedy element to it. And, you know, rather than make some really heavy CGI influenced horror film, most of those effects are on camera, which really sort of goes back to those slasher films in the 80s, like whether it's Evil Dead or Halloween or Amityville Horror, things like that. We try to retain that like classic element of horror because that's our generation of mm. spooky films. Yeah, I mean, the, the touch touch points of uh, the light bulb filling up with blood, I mean, that's, a, that's, one, of, that's one of the best um, the effects that you see. But... Um, with the the characters, with the other guys in the band, um, did you kind of write the? the I'm so sorry, the, we are over the, our time. Oh, sorry. No, that was too quick. Dave. Oh, sorry, Dave. Oh. Thank you so much, mate. Uh, hopefully, you'll get down to Australia real soon. See you soon. Rock on, man. Cheers. Bye, right, brother. I become possessed. I kill the whole band. I go solo.